another gig day. This time I went ahead and already kind of loaded up the elevator before they got here. They just called me that they're downstairs with the van, so that'll speed up some things. Now just uh, making sure I have everything I need. Backpack is in there, all the drums are in there, rug. The pedal is actually holding the elevator door open. And that's pretty much it. All right, let's go. So today is a different gift. We've been doing all holiday uh, parts so far. And today is, uh, what did you say? Gentlemen's club? Workman's club. Yeah. Workman's club. <laughs> Yeah, because the gentleman's club like very different. Very different. Yeah. <laughs> gentleman's club is, is a whorehouse, right? <laughs> Pretty much. So no, that's not what we're yeah, doing. Yeah, we're not playing that. <laughs> no, it's like a bingo place. Literally, right? They actually play bingo there. Yeah. So that should be interesting. Yeah. And it's in uh what's the name of the place? Middlesbrough. Yeah, it's head. Middlesbrough. Oh, yeah, I thought it was Middlesbrough. Oh, okay, yeah, it's head. Alright. Let's see. So this statue here. Oh. Have no idea. Where? Yeah. It's called the Angel of the North. And it's a huge, huge statue that's in the north of England. There we go. Oh, there we go. The Angel of the North. Completed in 1998. It is a steel sculpture of an angel 20 meters tall with wings measuring 54 meters across. The wings do not stand straight sideways, but are angled 3.5 degrees forward. Gormley did this to create a sense of embrace. The angel, like much of Gormley's other work, is based on a cast of his own body. It stands on a hill of Burtley at Low Aiton in Lamsley, Lamsley, overlooking the A1 and A167 roads. It's a tight side in the East Coast Main Line Rail, route south of the site of Team Colliery. According to Gormley, the significance of an angel was threefold. First, to signify that beneath the site of this construction, coal miners worked for two centuries. Second, to grasp the transition from an industrial to an information age. And third, to serve as a focus for evolving hopes and fears. So as you can see, this is a very, very, very different kind of place. There's no trailers, there's just the venue. Which is actually most of the gigs, isn't it? Like the holiday yeah. parks are the exceptions. Yeah, to be honest, but we've got a lot more stuff at holiday parks now for the rest mm -hmm. of the year, which is good. So when I go to gigs, I don't know about you guys, but I'm always curious to see how the band comes in and where they take their gear through to get into the building. So now I get to show you. Let's go. Type of gig, we had to bring everything, so even the PA is ours, and it's uh, almost all set. Now we're gonna do sound check. Pretty cool setup, and this is the dressing room. <laughs> Target Mark IV we still need like a with our actual yeah, basis this time. 
Yeah! <laughs> We are complete! <laughs> Time break. Just roll it up into one and just. Yeah, pizza. Don't, don't even like chew it. You've got to like just grit your teeth and just push, <laughs> it, push it through the gaps in your teeth. We totally forgot to food. order like that. drinks. Yeah, nice. But the guy here is so nice that he gave us some. Cheers. <laughs> Alright, one more gig into the box. Woo! Yo! Yeah! <laughs> back it. Off, back home. Here we go.